Some Gwinnett County parents are outraged tonight over third grade math homework. It referenced slaves picking fruit and violence. Channel 2's Carrie Cavanaugh is live in Gwinnett County with why one father says the assignment forced him to have a difficult conversation with his son, Carrie. Monica, those parents contacted us after they read this controversial assignment. They say they were shocked to see math problems talking about slavery and beatings. They tell me they want to know exactly what the teachers here at Beaver Ridge Elementary School were thinking when they wrote them. I had to explain to him why daddy was upset because of the words that were used in that problem. The problem appeared on a third grader's math assignment. Terrence Barnett was outraged when he read his son's homework. One problem said each tree had 56 oranges. If eight slaves picked them equally, then how much would each slave pick? Then there was another. If Frederick got two beatings per day, how many beatings did he get in one week? I'm having to explain to my eight-year-old why slavery or slave or beatings is in a math problem. So, and that hurts. Dad Christopher Braxton had the same reaction. It kind of blew me away. Frederick, if anyone got any beatings, you don't put that into the homework of any source. Both fathers contacted the principal at Beaver Ridge Elementary School in Norcross. Then they called us. They wanted to know how these questions ended up on a child's homework. I brought that question to Gwinnett School District officials. In this one, the teachers were trying to do a cross-curricular activity. Spokesperson Sloan Roach says the third grade teachers were attempting to cross curriculums, adding some social studies lessons into math problems. But the problem with these questions, there's no historical context. We understand that there are concerns about these questions. and. and and we agree that these questions were not appropriate. Whoever put together this paperwork and everything else, the schools and everything, shouldn't teach it this way. The parents tell me that the principal here is collecting the assignments to shred them so they wouldn't be distributed any longer. Moving forward, they say they're going to work with the teachers to develop more appropriate questions, and they'll say they'll do a better job of reviewing them before they go home with students. We're live tonight in Gwinnett County. Carrie Cavanaugh, Channel 2 Action News.